Today, I'm going to show you how you can earn a 90% APR on Render Token by using concentrated liquidity pools. Let's dive right in. So with that being said, there are a couple different opportunities that we can use to actually earn a high APR on Render Token. Now, Render Token has done relatively decent over the past seven days, and it's currently up 10%. Today alone, it's up about 5.5%. And if we were to zoom out over the past one year, you could see that Render had a very, very good run all the way up to nearly $14, and since then, it's retraced to around $6. Nonetheless, Render definitely has a ton of potential in this upcoming bull market and it sits at a market cap of 2.7 billion dollars now since render is on the ethereum network polygon network as well as the salon network we can look across those different networks for when it comes to identifying different opportunities i'm going to be browsing across a couple different exchanges the first one is going to be uniswap because uniswap is the largest decentralized exchange on the ethereum network but also on the polygon network quick swap is the second largest decentralized exchange on the polygon network orca is one of the largest concentrated liquidity exchanges over on the Solana network, whereas Radium is the largest exchange on the Solana network. And then we're going to be taking a look over at Camino Finance, where they will manage your liquidity for you. So let's start on Uniswap. We're going to go ahead and launch the app and go to the explore section. And what I'm going to be searching for right here is Render, because I want to look for Render token, basically. And as you can see right here, Render pops up and we can go down here to the pool section. This is going to show us all the different pools on Uniswap on the Ethereum network for Render token. And as you can see, there's about $2.4 million in TVL right here. There's about $900,000 in this V2 pool, which is full range. So we wouldn't even have to manage the range. And there's about 500K in the 0.3% tier, which it looks like it's doing a decent return as well. Now this V2 pool, we can already scratch off the list because it's only doing about 35% per year. How did we get that? Well, we looked at the 24 hour fees. We divided that by the current TVL. And then we just multiplied that by 365 days. And that gives us about a 35% APR. That's not that good, right? Because we're taking on exposure to render. We're taking on an permanent loss exposure and we want to earn a high yield so that's exactly where concentrated liquidity would come into play and we would end up wanting to deploy into one of those other pools so i'm going to keep those ones in mind and i'm going to head over to the network selection and select the polygon network and now i'm going to do the same exact thing and look for render token but this time on the polygon network and as you can see it pops up here with yet again another 2.3 million dollars in tvl and we can look across all these different pools there's 1.2 million dollars in the matic to render pool there's 1.1 million in the render to ethereum pool and then we have about 400k in this matic render pool another 400k in this render at ethereum pool and then the other ones we can kind of just not focus on whatsoever because they are very very low tvl pools but we have a couple different opportunities right here as well and these seem to be doing very very good volume numbers as you can see in the past seven days there's been roughly 5.2 million dollars here in volume and that's on matic render so we definitely need to keep that one in mind as well we'll now head over to quick swap and go to the analytics section and yet again we are going to search for render now upon looking at quick swap you can see that the highest pool has roughly $1,500 of liquidity. So we're just going to go ahead and close out of this tab because there's not really anything that we can do with that. Heading over to Orca, we'll dive into the liquidity section. And yet again, we are going to search for render token. Now render token over on the Orca platform or over on the Solana network is actually spelled out render. It's not R and DR, it's spelled out as render. So by searching for that, we'll be able to identify all the different render pools over here. And you can see there's about $2 million in TVL and render to Sol, about 300,000 in render to USDC. And then of course, there are some lower TVL pools down here as well. So we got some on Orca that we can most definitely include in the portfolio. We'll do the same exact exercise on Radium by heading over to the liquidity section. We're going to select all because we don't care if it's concentrated liquidity or normal liquidity. We want a good return. So by typing in render, we could see that the top one is right here on concentrated liquidity with about $1.3 million in TVL. Average APR of roughly 85% seems pretty solid. And there's also this $230,000 TVL one, which we'll just ignore for now. So now we need to identify which opportunity is going to be the best. We're going to go ahead and use a software known as metrics finance and full disclaimer i built this software i'm the founder of it and i built it in a way to make my life easier but also make your life easier so we're going to select uniswap v3 we're going to select the ethereum network the polygon network because remember uniswap is the exchange that we are going to be using for the ethereum and polygon networks we're also going to go over here and select orca as was well radium and then turn on the solana network and then from here where we have the little filter button we're going to click on the pool filter and we are going to type in r and dr but we're also going to type in render just like that separated by a comma now in this situation all of them pop up as rndr that's just because it's pulled from coin gecko directly so let's keep that in mind but you'll be able to see that we have a lot of different opportunities over here that we could consider deploying into now upon taking a look at the two different positions on the ethereum network by using the pair function you could see the one in the 0.3 percent tier is a much higher apr at roughly 142 percent so we're gonna go ahead and pop that one open now i'm also gonna pull up render to eth over on the polygon network using this same exact function and see which ones are turning to higher and it looks like it's the one in the one percent fee tier 
here this time. And remember, the other one that we looked at over in the Polygon network was render paired with Matic. I'm not going to bother looking at the render to USDC ones because I mainly want to target render paired with a correlated asset. And I do want to mention that my next video is going to be talking about crypto and crypto liquidity pools compared to crypto and stablecoin liquidity pools. So we'll be talking about Link and Ethereum compared to Link and USDC and which opportunity is better. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe notifications turned on so you don't miss out on that video. And now that we've done that, it's time to dive into the positions themselves and start to find the range. So I'm going to start from the beginning on this Ethereum to render one on the Ethereum network. And the first thing that I'm going to do is just adjust my deposit amount to something that I would personally deploy into the pool. If you're deploying $1,000 into a pool or even anything less than $10,000, I would not recommend being on the Ethereum network. I would recommend taking a look at the Polygon opportunity as well as the Solana network opportunity. And the reason being is because the Ethereum network has very high gas fees. So that's one thing. I personally like to deploy around ten dollars to $15,000 into a single liquidity pool. So I'll start with $10,000 there. And then from there, I'm going to adjust this max price and min price to a range that kind of suits my risk tolerance, but also suits the amount of assets that I want to hold in this pool. If I'm personally more bullish on render than I am Ethereum, I'm always going to want to weight myself a little bit more towards render. So I have more render in the liquidity pool. But I also need to take a look at how this trend is performing. And the price has gone up substantially over the past one to two weeks. And what that tells us is that Ethereum is doing better because it's taking up more render to equal one Ethereum. So I'm going to put this max price over here at 580. And then I'm going to go ahead and adjust my min price accordingly until I get about 60% render. And by putting that at 440 and 580, that gets me roughly 60% render and 40% Ethereum. And you're going to notice that that's already to 243% APR, but we're not done quite yet because there's one thing that stands out to me. And that's the fact that this liquidity distribution has a huge peak right over here to the right. And we're currently at a price where there's not as much liquidity. We have to assume that the people that have their liquidity over here are going to end up moving their liquidity to where the current price is, or the current price is going to revert back to where there's more liquidity. And if that's the case, we're going to get a substantially lower return of roughly 130% APR. Now, keep in mind, 130% APR is already exceeding our expectations of 90% per year on render. So we need to go down into the volume history and take a look at this. And as you can see, it's actually trending upwards, which is a good sign. But I also want to reduce this calculation range to seven days just to see what type of return we're doing over the course of the last seven days. And that's roughly a 200% APR. And so far, everything looks very, very accurate and looks very, very very reasonable for this pool. So I'm going to drag that back out to 30 days and I am just going to save this to my portfolio. And then what we can do is actually open up the build section. And it's going to show all the different positions that we saved to our portfolio here. Now, now that we've already found the range of roughly 440 to 580, we can run that same exact exercise over on this Polygon network one. And then of course, adjust the calculation range and current price. And as you can see, the liquidity distribution already has the current price at peak of distribution. So where the most liquidity is, that's where the price is currently at. And then what we can do is we can scroll down to the volume history. This doesn't look as pretty as the previous one, but we're still going to go ahead and reduce this to roughly seven days just to see what type of return we're getting. Here we're getting 90%. And if we zoom out to 30 days, we're getting about 80%. We always want to use the lowest return. And the reason why is because we want to assume a lower return, be happy with that, and then get better than our expectations as opposed to assume a higher return, be happy with that, and then get lower than our expectations, end up making a bad decision when it comes to adjusting ranges or something along those lines. We'll also pull up the rendered dramatic position. And once again, we're just going to pop in $10,000 deposit amount right over here. And then we're going to start to find our range. And as you can see, this is more correlated because the chart is going sideways. Now, when the price is going down, well, we're looking at how many Maddox equal one render token. So that means that essentially Maddox is outperforming render. Just keep that in mind. I'm probably going to put the max price at around 15 and I'm going to drag this min price up here to about 10. So 10 to 15. I know those sound like just general numbers, but of course, I'm just putting this as starting point and that's getting me about 57% Maddox. Now, keep in mind, Maddox has done better over the past week or so. So we do need to give Matic a good weight. And in this situation, since they are relatively correlated, I'm going to strive for roughly a 50-50 ratio. This range of $10.35 to roughly $15.30 will get me about 50-50 when it comes to the underlying assets. And then we'll go ahead and dive into the volume history. And yet again, we'll go down to the one week volume history. And that does about a 45% APR. So once again, we are going to save this to our portfolio. And then of course, we're going to take a look over that Solana network position and do the same exercise. Exercise. Right now, we're looking at how many souls equal one render, and we're coming up with these decimals. I personally like to toggle the pair and look at how many render tokens equal one soul. And as you can see, the price is going up. That means it's taking more render tokens, which means that Solana token is doing a lot better than render token. Now, considering Solana's up 22% over the past seven days, I would say that it's probably likely that Solana is doing better than render token. And we definitely want to factor that into our analysis. And by actually exposing ourselves to not only Ethereum to render, but also render to Matic and even render to soul, we're getting exposed 
exposure to these other assets and different types of pools, and we can cumulatively earn that 90% APR. As you can see, by already throwing these different positions in here, we're getting about 85% APR, and we haven't even included the Soul one yet. Now, since Soul is doing way better than Render, I'm probably going to weight this position to about 45% Render, mainly because I want to give Soul a little bit more exposure because that's the asset that's doing better. And by putting the min price at 21 and then the max price at 31, that gives me about 46% Render and 54% Soul. If we want to, we could drag this out a little bit further and do it about 32 and 21, and that's going to give me about 43% Render, which I am fine with. We just have to assume that the price isn't going to instantly revert downwards to the point where Render starts doing a lot better. So this is a little bit riskier of a position, but if we dive into the returns, let's go ahead and set our deposit amount at $10,000. This is showing about an 80% APR. I'm going to slightly adjust this current price to where there's more liquidity. Remember, we're looking for the peak of distribution in the current range. Over here, we don't really care about that. But we do have to keep in mind that number. That's about a 65% APR over here. And then we'll go ahead and use the past seven days of calculation range. Gets us about an 83% return. And then 30 days gets us about 65. So let's save this to the portfolio as well. Now, with that being said, this $40,000 allocation is getting about an 80% overall APR, which is fairly good. But remember, we do have two rendered to Ethereum positions here. One of them is expected to do 80% APR, the other is expected to do 130% APR. I'm probably just going to want to take on exposure to the one doing 130% APR. But remember, if you are deploying less than $10,000, you might just want to consider the 80% APR because you won't have the super high gas fees. And a lot of the times it will net out to being a greater profit if you are doing the Polygon Network one. So just like that, we're still doing 80% APR, but that's also because we scratched off about $10,000 of capital. What we need to do now is determine our overall capital allocation and then of course start to weight position. I know for a fact that I want to deploy into this Ethereum to render one because this is doing the highest return. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this little settings cog and I'm going to assume that I have about a $30,000 allocation to render and Ethereum. And when I say that, I mean $30,000 that I want to implement into a render strategy that is driven by the render price mainly. I'm going to allocate $15,000 into the render to Ethereum position. That's the best performing position. It also, in my opinion, is one of the lower risk ones because it's on Uniswap on the Ethereum network. But of course, remember that Ethereum network render is being phased out it will still be supported but it's moving to the Solana network and then I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this one over here this soul render to about five thousand dollars because this one is doing a lower return of roughly 65 percent APR and I'm fairly happy with this portfolio right here that's about fifteen thousand dollars allocated to the ETH render position on the Ethereum network it's doing about 52 bucks per day which is 125 percent APR that's about ten thousand dollars allocated to the render domatic position doing about 12 bucks per day remember this one's over on the polygon network so we do have lower gas fees but that's about a 45 percent APR and then about $5,000 allocated to the sole render position doing about a 65% APR. If we wanted to, we could also go ahead and flip these. We could do $5,000 allocation in the Matic one and then $10,000 allocation in the sole one. And that would get us a little bit higher than 90%. It really depends on which asset you want to take on exposure to. If you prefer to take on exposure to Matic as opposed to Soul, then go ahead and do the $10,000 in the Matic one. Whereas if you prefer to take on exposure to Soul over Matic, well then of course do flip it. And just like that, we're now at 94% APR. That's about 77 bucks per day. Guys, I do want to go and mention, don't just throw your capital into these positions without doing your own research. Go through the same exact process that I taught you in today's video. And the reason why is because these ranges are based in the current market circumstance. Yes, they will be in range for a couple days, maybe even one to two weeks, but you are going to eventually have to adjust those ranges to meet the new market circumstances. And also, you shouldn't deploy into anything that anybody tells you online. You should always conduct your own research into your own analysis before actually listening to anybody. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe notifications turned on. Remember, my next video is going to be breaking down the differences between something like link to USDC and link to Ethereum. So breaking down crypto and crypto and then crypto and stablecoin liquidity pools. It's a pretty valuable lesson. So I really hope you guys are going to be there for that. I'll see you guys later and peace out.